Welcome to the series. Here we perform hands-on exercises with Google Gemini Pro API and Python. In this video, we will show how to implement the very helpful library called LangChain to work with Gemini Pro API. Here we will follow these steps. First, we will set up our LLM or large language model with LangChain. Then we will see how to use prompt template. Also, we will use system prompts, which is not really available by default, but LangChain helps us do that. Lastly, we will see how the AI response streaming works. That said, let's get started. All right, let's start with uh, installing the necessary libraries. Here we will install these top three. All right, Google Generative AI just came in, and this is the version number. Next is our LangChain Google Gen AI. 0.0.9 and lastly langchain 0.1.10 that being done let's set up our key now initially i just set up this the gen ai i'm bringing in the uh, google.generative ai as gen ai and configuring it with my api key just so that i can see what models we have access to let's run it all right so these are the models available and in this video we're going to be using Gemini Pro and in this video we're not going to use this because we're going to be using LangChain and to use LangChain we need to set this environment variable with our API key which is google underscore API key so I'll just run this and this makes us ready for LangChain all right so at first we're doing the very basic here I am bringing are importing chat Google generative AI class from the langchain underscore Google underscore gen AI. And here we are prepping our LLM by, by sending the model argument as Gemini Pro and temperature 0 0.9. And once our LLM is ready with the langchain, we grab the response by invoking that LLM and sending our prompt. In this case, write a paragraph about life on the moon in the year 2099 and here printing the response since the text remains inside this response.content that's what i'm print out here all right so as you can see result comes in like this it's not very readable so i'm just going to go ahead and bring in one of my helper functions so that we can see this result better all right so at this point i just brought in this helper function calling it my print. This takes an, any output we may have as input. This could be a list, a dictionary, or whatsoever. So once we get this, we convert that into a string and then import text wrap. And utilizing text wrap, we print it with the necessary boundary so that it actually displays within this space. That said, let's move here. And instead of print, I'm going to enable my print and let's run it. Oh, there you go. With that done, now we know the basics. Let's move to using the template. All right, so right here, we brought in all the necessary libraries. And right here, I'm prepping my model using chat Google Generative AI and sending the argument model, which is Gemini Pro. Now let's follow these steps. Let's get our prompt template set up, which we got from right here, Langchain prompts. All right, so my prompt from template, from template, and here, prompt I'm using is, you are a content creator, write me a tweet about topic, which is a variable. Now let's prepare our chain right here. So this LLM chain we got from langchain.chains, and it's all about chains as the name suggests. So right here, we invoke LLM chain class, where we send arguments, LLM would be my LLM that we just created right here, Prompt would be my prompt created right here. And we're setting verbose equals true so that we get to see the details, which is very handy for troubleshooting purposes. With our chain being made, let's bring in our topic, which is the variable. All right, so our topic is why will AI change the world? And this we will use right here to replace that variable as a value. And at this point, let's look at our chain, what it look like. Let me run it. There you go. 
So this is what the whole chain looks like. Has all the necessary stuff, our template, our input variable, etc. And this is where LangChain actually shines. It does a lot of work for us so that we don't have to. Now let's move to invoking the chain and get response. So here we just simply invoke the chain by using chain.invoke, chain from right here. And as an argument, we set our input and the value would be topic that we created just here. And this in the process will replace this variable and generate our response. As you can see at this point, I am using my print here so that we get a better display. So I'm gonna run it. And you see all this stuff you're seeing now because of verbose equals true. So it actually generated a tweet for us and replaced our topic variable with this. And in this object, inside the text, we have our actual tweet. So let's display this clearly. Okay, so now we're gonna be printing the response, the text, this, this item right here. And at this point, we don't really need a verb or verbose to be true because we want the exact result. So let's make it false. That done, let me run it again. Boom, exactly what we wanted, the tweet. All right, so that being done, Let's move to system prompting and streaming. This time we will work with system prompting. For that, we're bringing in human message and system message from Langchain messages. Now the idea is that the system message actually provides the AI with some extra stuff, for example, some extra direction, personality, etc., which is possible using OpenAI because their their API actually offers that. But unfortunately, Gemini Pro does. So that's where the line chain comes in to help us out. So as you can see here, I'm declaring the model using chat Google generative AI. And as usual, we're sending our model argument, Gemini Pro, but this one extra, convert system message to human to set to true. And that helps us utilize this system message prompting. So let me show you. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. Here, we're gonna have our output by invoking my LLM that we just created here. But in this case, we are sending two sets of messages. System message, content. Answer only yes or no. This is the extra direction that we are sending to the AI separately. And this is our actual human message. Is shark a mammal? This is a regular user question. But this should be hidden. This should be between the developer and the AI. And this is basically how prompt engineering is done. We are giving it instructions, change its behavior. Instead of giving us some elaborate message, it's gonna go ahead and give us a yes or no answer. With that, let's run it. All right, look at that. Answer is no, shark is not a mammal. And now let's uh, do a little bit of more prompt engineering in French. So what happens if you answer in French? So let me run it and gives us an answer in French. And as you can see, this is not part of our user question. This is part of our system message. Let's try another one. Is dolphin a mammal, right? Let me run that again. And this time it says yes in French, and that shows how to use system prompting with Gemini Pro using LangChain. Now let's get to streaming. All right, so this time I'm doing all the regular stuff like uh, preparing my LM with Gemini Pro and temperature zero. And then we're giving a long prompt this time, write a scientific paper on quantum mechanics, outlining the mathematical foundation of the universe. Apparently this is gonna be a long answer and we're gonna be invoking it with LLM.invoke, send the prompt and printing with my print. And this is the default response I'm gonna show you by running it. It's gonna go on for a while. When it's ready, it's gonna drop the whole answer at once, like this. So get the answer in a streaming way. Let's invoke this. All right, so basically you take the same model and say LLM.stream and then pass the prompt instead of straightaway.invoke. And then using this loop, you show the content block by block. And in this case, just to show a clear difference between the blocks, I'm 
know, using a dashed line, 100 dashes. So let me invoke. Now you can see the answers are coming in steps or blocks. And our lines are, you know, actually showing everything nicely. And this is how we invoke streaming or response streaming using Langchain and Gemini Pro.